Here are the wheels, all polished up with a bit of a rub over with some wet and dry. Um, yeah, I think they're looking pretty good. The uh, one thing I thought was interesting is that these are clearly cast as a pair. The, these two are one pair, and these two are another, another casting of the same pair. Because we've got one shallow wheel and one deep wheel. One shallow wheel and one deep wheel. So I guess the two deep wheels will be on one side of the locomotive and the two shallow wheels will be on the other. And uh, you'll never know. I also need to use this countersink bit to break the corners on the back of the wheels because obviously the lathe tool isn't a perfect right angle so I want to make sure that there's uh, no way that these wheels aren't going to sit perfectly flat against that face on the, uh, the wheel seat. This is how I'm dealing with the bogey axles. I cut it to length, as you saw. I have turned it to the precise length. I have uh, marked up each end, whacked it in the collet. Uh, I'm gonna use my uh, Jenny calipers to get a line that's 3 8 from this edge and just turn down a little shoulder there. One thing that happens in the prototype is they turn the axles between centres, so if you look at a real locomotive, you'll see that their axles are centre drilled. So, although I'm not turning mine between centres, I've decided to centre drill mine to uh, make it look like they are. That's what I'm doing here. And here is the bogey for the H2 Atlantic. There are a few small jobs to do on this. I need to fit some springs between the equaliser bars and this buffing plate on both sides. I also need to open out the axle boxes to a loose running fit. As you can see, it all fits together, um, but the, the purpose of these equaliser bars is to move up and down, which will cause the axles to cant, uh, and when they cant, they're just going to bind up as it stands. So I'll need to open those out to about five thou oversize. I'll also need to undercoat it and glue it together but in terms of the major machining parts, I think we can consider this one basically done. I'm really pleased with my first piece of work, my first completed unit of the, the H2. Um, clearly I've worked lots to learn, riveting, silver soldering and brazing, making my own tools and so on. Uh, but from where we stand in this one, I'm really happy with how this has turned out. So thank you and I'll catch you next time.